title of my presentation is about the uh, implementation of essential drug system in China, rural health facilities. As our general director, he could not attend this meeting, so I will present on behalf of him. And uh, first, I'd like to give you some background about the, this essential drug system in China because this is uh, uh, one of the priority of the new healthcare reform in China and some progress as well as some of the fundings and discussions because we have conducted some literature reviews as well as a pre-survey in several counties in the West and in the Middle China and a little summaries. First, uh, maybe some of you have very familiar with the situation that in China that the drug price is very, very high and some scandals on very extremely high drugs have been disclosed by the media and so you might raise the question why the drug price is so high. Before the reform, the drug price, they have the different textures of the markup in China. Here you can see the trend from the manufacturers to the ultimate the consumer to the patients. And in different textures, you can see the different proportions that have been added to the original price. And uh, if you can calculate that quickly, you can see that the total uh, markup or proportion might be three times. But if the more sale agent or the more distributors in these catchers, the proportion might be several hundred higher than the drugs have been produced from the manufacturers. So this is a very big problem that is confronted by the central uh, the, the, the government and another another uh, problem is that the survival the, the, the surviving rational for the rural grassroots health facility is that they need to compensate the cost of medical health services through the profit uh, by selling drugs because the fiscal input to the rural grassroots health facility is relatively low here is a number uh, to the uh, last year. The fiscal input is the cost for uh, lower than 20% and the most part of the income for the facilities relies on selling drugs. So, uh, in the year 2009, the central government decided to launch the national essential drug system. And here, a little bit different, different from the concept uh, proposed by, by the WHO. Uh, because the essential drug uh, that uh, proposed by the WHO that means to satisfy the priority health of the need for the uh, population's health care. But uh, here, the essential drug system in China, it is a very comprehensive system that consists of many different uh, subsystems, including to set up a, a national essential drug list, including 307 different categories, including the uh, chemical drugs, the bio, uh, biological uh, drugs, as well as the Chinese medicine, traditional medicine drugs as well as to regulate the production and the redistribution process and, and also to attend for bidding at the province level. And uh, the third is to set the national retail sale guiding price. That means the central government uh, they will set a certain principle for the guiding price. And the province, different provinces, they will have the different guiding prices for the bidding process and require the public grassroots health facilities they need to equip and use the essential drugs and the most important one is about the zero markup for the essential drugs that means they have cut the different textures that I, I have mentioned previously and also have provide high reimbursement for the essential drugs etc. So many different dimensions that they have been included in the essential drug system. And here some data have been shown the progress that now have been achieved because this system is a new system and have been uh, 
uh, real implemented since last year, and in some provinces only start from the early part of this year, and uh, with a different uh, color shows how many proportions of the counties in that province have been uh, covered by the essential drug system. And uh, you may be uh, very interested uh, that after the zero markup policy, how to compensate the, the gap of the facilities income. And now here are the three main different channels that uh, for financing the uh, uh, house facilities in rural areas. First, the central government, uh, they uh, propose a policy that named replacing compensation by rewards. That means due to the fiscal limitation, and the uh, financial department would decide to uh, reimburse or give the subsidies to the rural facilities depends on the volume and the quality of the basic and the public health services that the facility has been accomplished, as well as the performance of the general reform on personnel management, performance related payment as well as the patient satisfaction and etc. This means do not give the direct fiscal subsidies to the uh, house facilities. Uh, and the second channel is about the direct subsidies, but uh, it is a differential fiscal subsidies. Uh, based on the previous three years of uh, facilities total business income and the third is to build on the medical insurance schemes. Uh, different provinces have a different proportions that uh, they uh, build on the medical insurance or from the fiscal uh, uh, department. And uh, here are some data that shows the uh, the, the change of the price after the implementation of essential drug system reform. Generally, it had been dec declined by 30%. And on the right, are some different uh, the selected province with the different percentages of the drug decline. But some essential drugs in some areas, the price after feeding is not climbing. It is also increasing. This is a very interesting uh, problem. And uh, so, even though in the most areas the price has been declined, but uh, if the proportions uh, here is true or not. Although the essential drug system, the emphasis to reduce the essential drugs price, but uh, several components would result in the uh, not declining instead of the increasing price because uh, in the tangible bidding process, if the government emphasizes too much on the low price, that will result in the pharmaceutical uh, manufacturers and also for, for, for um, the bidding, they will, uh, will, res will result in the lack of some essential drugs and also some poor quality of the drugs. And also from the supplier side of the hospitals, if they can not get sufficient subsidies for the gap in the drug income, the incentives for the workforce have been declined. This have been, uh, uh, there we have evidence from the interviews with the local uh, health department as well as the hospitals and uh, they would like to transfer the patient to the other hospitals and will prescribe more medical checks as well as to transfer our patient to the inpatient because the inpatient have a more a wider list for the essential drugs as well as we, they will substitute the essential drugs with the non-essential drugs and from the demand side, we can see that because the patient, they have, uh, they have some preferable drugs. If they cannot have access in the village doctors as well as the township hospitals, they will go to the drug stores to buy the drugs even though they are paid out of pocket. 
or they will choose the big tertiary hospitals and their priority hospitals to 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 get the services. So here, an uh, increasing economic uh, economic burden on the health expenditures on the uh, household code. We have uh, this phenomenon is now have been emerged in the, some areas of our pilot counties. And uh, although it is too early to make any conclusions because it has been only started from last year, but some phenomena we should be paying attention to. Here are some data that show the change of the volume of health services utilization in different levels of hospital. We can see that if we compare the first quarter in 2010 and this year, you can see that the volume, no matter from outpatient or for the inpatient, as well as the bad utilization rate, have been declined in the township health center. Because we know, due to the implementation of the new rural cooperative medical scheme, that is a major medical insurance scheme for the rural residents, the utilization of the township hospital has been increased in the past few years because the reimbursement rate is higher. But due to the the essential drug system, people could not have access of some essential drugs, and this number has been declined. And to the secondary hospitals, this number increasing very fastly. This is another different aspect that shows uh, by the NCM, and NCMS, that means uh, the new rural cooperative medical scheme reimbursement data at uh, also the rural grassroots health facilities. You can see that uh, at the bottom from the nationwide, the app hospitals outside the county, that uh, some very big general hospitals, Major uh, the, the 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 reimbursement fund to that level hospital have been increased by two percent, and to the township health centers have been declined nearly three percent. This is only some preliminary findings, because why these unexpected unexpected outcomes happen? This picture, I don't like to go very into detail, but you can see that in this uh, the health system for the effective essential drug delivery, we intend to provide a more safe, or more accessible, and affordable essential drugs to the consumer, but it relies on the different component of the whole system, health system, and there are different uh, stakeholders involved in this system, and uh, they are the adaptive agent, and how they will adapt to the new reform, adapt to the new environment, and uh, these policies they have been confronted, they will take different uh, strategies and actions to dealing with the advantages and disadvantages situations. And we need further tracking and analysis about the changes in the accessibility and the affordable affordability of these drugs for the patient. So although there are some problems but some opportunities also existed for the rural grassroots health facilities. Here I listed a few some examples like we can hold back the arm rates of the medical equipment and constructions uh, between the township health center and the big hospitals. And also, this is a good opportunity to reallocate and integrate the health resources in rural areas. And also, the opportunity to transition of the function of the health facilities, more, em more emphasis will be put on the public health services provided as this is a, a component of the general reform.